Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We gotta talk some Steam news and updates. Leave it up to Valve to announce Counter-Strike 2 in the funniest way imaginable. Just dropping a bunch of videos out of nowhere and now everybody's talking about it on social media. I know there was some discussion about this, but uh, just the way out of nowhere, they're just like, yeah, yo, here you go. A couple YouTube videos uploaded. We'll talk all about that. I saw in the last video. Some of you guys were asking me my thoughts of it. I used to be a big Counter-Strike player, as some of you guys might know. Uh, multiplayer gaming these days, um, not something I get super, super into outside of like when a new game drops that I'm interested in. Six weeks, I'll be all over it, then I'll move on with my life. But obviously, Counter-Strike 2 is going to get the six weeks as well. Maybe even a little bit longer. We'll see. Or a little bit less. We'll see. Valve has announced Counter-Strike 2 for PC. It will launch this summer as a free upgrade to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So this will be a free title. There will be a limited test that will be running in the future. And there's a lot of information that's already out. So Counter-Strike 2 is the largest technical leap forward in Counter-Strike's history, ensuring new features and updates for years to come. All of the game's new features will be revealed when it officially launches this summer, but the road to Counter-Strike 2 begins today as a limited test for select Counter-Strike Global Offensive players. During this testing period, we'll be evaluating a subset of features to shake out any issues before the worldwide release. Counter-Strike 2 arrives this summer as a free upgrade to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so build your loadout, hold in your skills, and prepare yourself for what's next. So, they went a lot of information as far as new upgrades being made, and it all sounds pretty solid. Responsive smoke, smoke grenades are now dy uh, dynamic volumetric objects that interact with the environment and react to lighting, gunfire, and explosions. Smoke now has the ability to interact with other gameplay events, creating new opportunities. Bullets and HE grenades can push smoke to briefly clear sight lines or expand occlusion. Expands to fill spaces naturally. Now the smoke will seep out of open doorways and broken windows, go down and upstairs, as well as expand in long corridors and combine with other smokes reacts to lighting. In Counter-Strike 2, smoke particles work with the unified lighting system, allowing for more realistic light and color. Moving beyond tick range, uh, rate a tick rate no longer matters for moving, shooting, or throwing. Sub-tick updates are at the heart of Counter-Strike 2. Previously, the server only evaluated the world in discrete time intervals. Thanks to Counter-Strike 2's sub-tick update architecture, servers know the exact instant the motion starts, a shot is fired, or a nade is thrown as a result. Regardless of tick rate, your moving and shooting will be equally responsive and your grenades will always land the same way, leveling up the world. So this is where you're going to see a lot of the refinements. Full overhaul maps. The overhaul maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the new Source 2 tools and rendering features. Upgrade maps. These are uh, maps that use a new Source 2 lighting, including a physically based rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. Touchstone maps. Classic maps with solid foundations that players can use to evaluate gameplay changes from Counter-Strike Global Offensive to Counter-Strike 2. These have improvements to lighting and character read, but otherwise have not been changed. Source 2 tools, the Source 2 tools and rendering features will be available for community map makers and make it easier to build, experiment, and iterate. And stay tuned for the Source 2 item workshop, which will be available later in the limited time test. Your items in a whole new light. Bring your entire CSGO inventory inventory with you to Counter-Strike 2. Thank the heavens that that is happening. Not only will you keep every item you've collected over the years, but they'll all benefit from Source 2 lighting and materials. In addition to supporting legacy models and finishes, all stock weapons have been upgraded with high-resolution models, and some weapon finishes take advantage of these new models. High-dev VFX from UI to gameplay, all visual effects have been reimagined. All of the visual effects have been updated in Counter-Strike 2 with Source 2 lighting and particle system. There's an all-new look and behavior for water explosions, fire, smoke, muzzle flashes, bullet tracers, impact effects, and more. Gameplay visuals in Counter-Strike 2 are the most critical gameplay visuals have been redesigned with readability in mind. Bullet impacts can be easily viewed at a distance, and directional blood impacts that fade over time give you more information as you move through the world. Environmental effects have been changed. Experience completely reauthored explosions, fire, C4, lighting, and more leveraging the Source 2 engine and modern hardware. Environmental effects in Counter-Strike 2 feature improved visual fidelity and greater consistency. UI effects, the UI in Counter-Strike 2 has gotten a complete overhaul, including fresh visual effects through, uh, throughout the HUD. Not only do these improvements look nice, they also communicate important game state, accurate audio, reworked, rebalanced, and reverb. But Counter-Strike 2 sounds have been reworked to better reflect the physical environment, be more distinct, and express more game state. They also 
also have been rebalanced for a more comfortable listening experience. And not only that, those are some of the refinements. There's more to come. The limited time test only evaluates a subset of Counter-Strike 2's features so that major issues can be resolved before the summer, but there's so much more to come in just a few months. We'll reveal all of the details of Counter-Strike 2, and we can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so... There's three different videos as well. I kind of went over all the information that the three videos do outline. Uh, the three videos are, are titled Leveling Up the World, Moving Beyond Tick Rate, and Responsive Smoke. So these are refinements that probably at a surface level, you're just going to read them and you're going to be like, okay, so there are new features being implemented into the game. But that's exactly what you want out of an upgrade and a sequel like this, where it is just a free upgrade. You want the core experience to be retained, but you want it to evolve. That is the most important part of a sequel and an upgrade release counter-strike 2 should look to evolve the experience it shouldn't look to completely redesign and rebuild the experience but it should look to evolve the experience and based on what i'm reading from all of this it looks like there's more attention to detail there's more modern changes that bring counter-strike into a 2023 audience like csgo iconic game but dude the game came out as like a 360 arcade game way back when and uh when did csgo come out on steam i want to say it was 2010 you know it was a long long time ago 2012 so it's been um you know well over a decade at this point not well over a decade but a sizable a sizable amount over a decade um so, Counter-Strike is due for a significant upgrade, and for Counter-Strike 2, uh, you know, all of these new features that are being implemented, it seems like it's bringing it in line with what you would expect out of a 2023 title. I'm not saying that the game is a technical masterclass, because when you look at uh, what we've seen thus far, it's not like the game is, you know... It's not Crisis in 2007, but it's not supposed to be that. It's a free-to-play game that is still trying to garner a large player base and be a very accessible experience. But at the same time, you know, it's not 2020, uh, 2012 anymore. It is 2023, and I think, uh, you know, what they're trying to attempt with CS2... It seems like there's a lot of promise here. As I've mentioned in the past, I'm not a big multiplayer guy these days. I don't play uh, hours upon hours. I'm not staying up until 5, 6 in the morning grinding on multiplayer titles. It's just not really what I do anymore. But, uh, you know, whenever a multiplayer game comes out that I'm interested in, I'll usually give it 6 to 8 weeks and... I'll usually have a sizable amount of fun with it. Like, that's what happened with Halo Infinite. That's what happened with COD MW2. Didn't really happen with Battlefield 2042, but... You know, that game just wasn't very good at launch, although I have heard it's gotten better. Um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, uh, when I was first getting into PC gaming, this was one of the earlier uh, multiplayer titles that I got really into, and I played a lot of CSGO back in the day, but it's not something that I got, you know, I wasn't sustained into the CSGO experience for years and years and years. I played it for a while and I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of, you know, memorable moments. It's a very nostalgic game for me. So just to see it getting upgraded, that's very exciting. And uh, I hope for the best out of this. And we know the deal with Valve. We don't see a lot of Valve updates as far as games are concerned. So to hear something like this, it's super exciting in my opinion. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Seems like this is really taking the PC gaming world by storm today. So let me know down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.